Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a real life mom clean with me in quarantine, which I'm also going to share a comfort food meal, which is a favorite in our house. Hi guys, like I said, this is a real life clean with me. This is like my daily cleaning routine as mom and I am not feeling very well in this video. I have a UTI and we are quarantined because Mike potentially has COVID. I talked a lot, a lot up over like on my Instagram stories over the weekend. It's just kind of been a stressful weekend and he's not feeling well, I'm not feeling well but we still have things that we need to take care of and the kids still need to be fed, house needs to be cleaned, etc. So I am sharing this very raw, real clean with me, showing you guys what it looks like when you're quarantined, not feeling super great, but things still have to get done and motivating you to get up and still get those things done because even if you move around a little bit, you're going to feel a lot better. I know I do as much as possible. I try to stick to my normal daily routine and the kids were just going crazy because of course we have to stay inside, but that is to be expected. Of course our patience has been running a little bit lower than usual these days, but remember that even on your off days you still need to push forward and be the best that you can in all of your daily activities, whether it be going to work, taking care of the kiddos, making dinner, cleaning up the house. You'll feel so much better if you at least accomplish a few things off of your to-do list while you're feeling unwell but anyway i am going to let you guys enjoy this clean with me and then i'm going to pop in to chat with you guys about one of the best recipes ever it's so good like ham and potatoes how do you go wrong with that it's so good the walls are listening when we talk making echoes as we walk there's no one left
So I shared with you guys in my last video that Riker now knows how to climb out of his crib and he now knows how to climb on the stools and he also likes to like unplug the vacuum while I am vacuuming all of the new hurdles this week but here I am I'm peeling potatoes for the ham and potato casserole it's also called scalloped potatoes and ham it's so good it's a great comfort food meal not super Weight Watchers friendly, but guys, this recipe goes over so well in the house. It's so yummy. Um, what I will typically do for this recipe is I will cut up about 10 small red potatoes, and I'm putting them on this plate. This seems really goofy, but as I'm dicing them up, I'm putting half of them on the plate, and then I microwave them for about six minutes in the microwave. I stir them halfway through. Koda was like rubbing himself on a wet rag on the stairs. He's so weird. Dogs are so weird. Anyway, if you microwave the potatoes for six minutes, it will actually like make sure that everything is cooked thoroughly and ensures that your casserole will be done at the end of the 60 minutes and everything will be cooked all the way through. So after I am done dicing these potatoes, I pop them in the microwave for six minutes. I mix them halfway through and then I will place them in the casserole dish and work on the sauce along with the ham and onion. So here I am just using a 14 ounce package of ham steaks. These are pre-cooked, ready to go, so all you have to do is dice them up. But I do like to heat them up with a yellow onion and about a tablespoon and a half of butter because it gives the casserole so much more flavor.
once the onion is translucent or is cooked all the way through, then I like to add a can of cream of chicken, a, about a cup of sour cream, and then I do a third cup of flour. You can use gluten-free flour here. And then I will do about a half a cup of milk. You can add more milk if you like your sauce to be a little bit more runny, but this is going to be the sauce you add your potatoes in next. I do like to season this with nature's seasons, but you can use salt and pepper, and then I will just mix everything together with a whisk, and I do add a cup of shredded cheese in here as well. I'll just do like the Fiesta blend. It's just like super universal, and we keep it in the house at all times, but I will mix that in and then wait until it's nice and bubbly, and then add those potatoes in. Once the potatoes are thoroughly mixed with the sauce, you're going to pour it into a 9 by 13 pan. No need to grease it because this is a little bit greasy so it doesn't stick to the pan. And then I will cover the pan with aluminum foil, tin foil, and then I will cook it at 350 for 30 minutes. Now halfway through, so at 15 minutes, I like to take the foil off so that it can get nice and bubbly and a little bit brown on the top. So when you take it out, it is going to look like this. Oh, it's so good. Look how bubbly and like browned it is. It's so yummy. And this is the final result, you guys. Like I said, this goes over so well. Riker loves it, Kaya loves it, Mike had a bowl of it. It's so good. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow for an evening routine video. Okay, bye you guys.